Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into a powerful feature within Google Gemini that lets you create your own personalized AI assistants. They're called Gems, and they're about to become your new best friend for getting things done. So what exactly are Gemini Gems? Think of them as custom versions of Gemini that you can program with specific instructions for tasks you do over and over. Instead of typing out the same detailed prompts every time, a gem remembers your instructions, saving you a ton of time and effort. First things first, where do you find these gems? In the Gemini web app, you'll see a gems section with a little jewel icon in the left-hand sidebar. If the sidebar is collapsed, just look for it, the jewel icon. Google gives you some awesome pre-made gems to start with, like a brainstormer, a career guide, a coding partner, and a writing editor. These are great for getting a feel for what gems can do. To use one, simply click on it and start a conversation. For example, you can ask the writing editor to polish a paragraph for you. Now for the fun part, creating our own gem from scratch. We're going to build a simple content writer gem. In the gem manager, click on new gem. First, let's give our gem a name. We'll call it creative content writer. Next and most importantly are the instructions. This is where you tell your gem how to act and what to do. You can be really detailed here. A great way to structure your instructions is to think about four key areas, persona, task, context, and format. For our creative content writer gem, let's give it these instructions. Persona. You are a creative and engaging content writer. Your tone is conversational and enthusiastic, but also informative and well-researched. Task. Your primary task is to help me brainstorm, outline, and write compelling content for blog posts and social media. Context. You should be able to write about a variety of topics, but always with a focus on creating content that is easy to read and provides value to the audience. Format. Please structure your responses clearly. For blog post ideas, provide a list of 5 to 10 headlines. For outlines, use bullet points with subpoints. For full drafts, use clear headings and short paragraphs. As you're writing your instructions, you'll notice a couple of cool features. There's a magic wand icon that can help you rewrite and improve your instructions. You can also upload files to give your gem more specific knowledge, like a style guide or research documents. On the right side of the screen, you have a preview panel. This is where you can test your gem as you build it to see how it responds to your prompts. This allows you to go back and refine your instructions until it's perfect. Once you're happy with your gem, just click Save, and that's it. Your Creative Content Writer gem will now appear in your list of gems ready to use whenever you need it. Okay, so we've created our Creative Content Writer. Let's see it in action. Notice that when I select it, Gemini is already primed with the personality and instructions we gave it. I don't need to remind it to be a creative writer every time. Now, let's give it a simple prompt. I'm just asking for some blog post ideas about the benefits of remote work. Because we programmed our gem, it knows to respond with a list of 5 to 10 headlines, just like we specified in the format instructions. And look at that. It's generating a list of catchy and creative headlines. This is perfect. It followed our instructions exactly, saving me the time of having to brainstorm and format this myself. From here, I could ask it to create an outline for one of these headlines, or even write a full draft. So there you have it, a simple yet effective way to create your own custom AI assistance in Google Gemini. By using existing gems and creating your own, you can streamline your workflow, save time on repetitive tasks, and unlock new levels of creativity and productivity. I encourage you to get in there, experiment, and see what kind of expert gems you can build. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more tutorials, and let me know in the comments what kind of gems you're planning to create. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.